Happy Friday, Glads, and welcome to our first broadcast. I'm John Christofferson. And I'm Maddie Haker, and this is your KWHS News. We're kicking off our new year with a new staff and format, and we're starting with today's lunch menu. Here's Miss Betsy. Happy Friday, everybody. Today on the menu, we're going to have scrambled eggs and hash browns. It's a menu change from earlier in the week. And then on Monday, we're going to have a cheeseburger and fries. So hope to see you then. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, please remember to return your free and reduced lunch forms to Miss Betsy ASAP so you can continue to eat at lunch without any hassles. Gladiators, guess what happens next week? That's right. It's early, but next week is Spirit Week. We know it's coming up fast, so here's the dress schedule and other homecoming news. Monday is Colorado Day. Wear your favorite Colorado gear. No inappropriate items, please. Tuesday is Character Day. Dress as your favorite character. Wednesday is Royalty Day. Break out your crowns, tiaras, and royal wear. And Thursday is Blue Out Day. Sport your best wide field gear and show your spirit. Remember, Friday is a teacher work day, so wear your pajamas and stay home. Patty? Thanks, John. I've got my outfits ready to go. Ladies, if you need a dress for homecoming, check out the selection in Becca's closet. Get yourself to the library to make an appointment with HK. The best part about these dresses is they are yours to keep. What's not to love about that? Oh, but Maddie, there's more. Glads, want a chance to win tickets to the dance? Sign up for the couples game in room 103. The game will take place during the homecoming assembly next Thursday. And that's not all. Glads, if you have a clever homecoming proposal and want it preserved for the yearbook, contact Casey Dooley at lunch in room 104 or in the yearbook room. John, what about tickets and guest forms? Glad you asked, Maddie. The dance will be on Saturday, September 16th from 7 to 11 p.m. in Bowers Gym. Tickets are on sale now in the business office for $10. All outside guest forms are due today at 3 p.m. Maddie, that wraps up information for homecoming. What else is happening? Well, John, we have some yearbook news. Yearbooks are currently on sale for $55 in the business office or at yearbookforever.com. And seniors, mark your calendars because senior baby ads and quotes for the yearbook must be submitted to Mrs. Kennedy on October 13th or October 20th. October 20th is the last day you can bring those in if you want them in the yearbook. Don't delay. Get those photos and quotes into the yearbook staff or room 104 as soon as possible. That's great information, Maddie. Hey, Maddie, have you started your college search yet? Oh, yes, but I know we have several college reps coming to Whitefield High School soon. Do you have the lineup? I certainly do. Glads, it's never too early to start thinking about college plans. Several colleges, university, and trade school representatives are scheduled to visit us soon. You must have a pass to see them in the counseling center when they come by. Here's the lineup for September visits. September 13th is Western State Colorado University. September 20th, University of Northern Colorado. September 26th, University of Colorado, Colorado Springs. October visits kick off on the 3rd with California Baptist University. October 10th, Paul Mitchell the school will be here at lunch. Also on October 10th is Fort Hayes State University. Luther College will kick off November visits on Thursday, November 2nd, while Adams State visits on Thursday, November 16th. Be sure to mark your calendars with these dates and swing by the Counseling Center to pick up your pass to attend any of these visits. Sounds great, John. Now here's Dylan Mack with our Gladiator Sports Update. Good Friday morning, Glads. I'm Dylan Mack, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. All of our sports teams have begun their season with some early successes and lessons learned. If you have missed the games this week, here's a recap of scores. The boys' Gladiator golf teams hosted the Gladiator Invite on Wednesday at Cheyenne Shadows at Fort Carson and teed up some great scores. On Thursday, our Lady Glads and volleyball team hosted its home opener against the Sand Creek Scorpion with a proper stomping. Sand Creek also sent their tennis team here for some matches against our boys team. Our Glad's tennis team showed no love for the Scorpion and won the overall match. The tennis team takes the court against Pueblo East this afternoon in Pueblo. In softball news, our Lady Glad traveled to the Classical Academy for a game on their diamond. The ladies put up some strong sticks against the Titans for the win. Our ladies take their bats on the road for tournament play, starting this afternoon and continue, continuing 
on Saturday at Pueblo County High School. Our sports teams ramp up again this weekend for some excellent matchups you don't want to miss. If you're a morning person, then come out and support our cross country team as they run in the Gladiator Invitational at the Community Center starting at 8.15. Come catch some of the fastest students on campus. If you're ready for some football, catch the Gladiators at home tomorrow at 1 p.m. right here at the Foster Stadium. Come out and support the boys as they take on the Mitchell Marauders. In a tournament closer to home, our Lady Glads volleyball team is at the Mesa Ridge Gym on Saturday starting at 8 a.m. Come watch them bump, set, and spike their way to victory. With all the games happening this week, there's something for everyone. So go out and support your Gladiator athletes. That's it for our first sports update. Now back to you, John and Maddie. Thanks, Dylan. Glads, be sure to catch some of the games this week. We're just about out of time for our first broadcast. Next week, we'll have information on club meetings and other school events happening at school. Until then, stay tuned to KWHS News on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. That's all for us today. We're glad to be back on the air. Have a great Friday and weekend. See you on Monday. Yeah.